to do the great thing, calling us even as co-builders at this moment. We owe him thanks. Now that we have arrived at this very great edifice he has given us, we'll humbly call on Apostle Dr. John K. Appear to offer a prayer of thanksgiving. We are praying. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. this afternoon, we lift up our holy hands and say, may your name be praised. Amen. As you have given us such a beautiful temple for your church to enter, to worship you, give you all the adoration. We know this building is going to be a place where the young, the old, will come and have a refuge for their soul. We know it's going to be a place where kingdom business is going to take place. People who are tasty, People who are yearning will come there and have rest for their soul. Father, we say, may your name be praised. Amen. We continue to bless your name. As a small church, you, you have given us such a beautiful church that the whole neighborhood and the whole church, we are so glad and so happy mm -hmm. that Father will be able to come here anytime to worship you. Mm -hmm. So as we are going to dedicate this building to you this afternoon, mm -hmm. we pray that Father, we let your spirit Lead us to everything that we do, and I end all glory will be yours. In Jesus' name we have prayed to thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters in the Lord, for those who are watching us virtually and in person, for we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, as we heard this morning. God's building, by the grace God has given me according to apostle paul i laid a foundation as an expert builder and someone else is building on it but each one should be careful how he builds this morning we were exhausted 
For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. If any man builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or stray, his work will be tested for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire. The fire will test the quality of each man's work. If what he has built survives, he will receive his reward. If it is burned up, he will suffer loss. We pray that God forbid. He himself will be saved, but only as one escaping through the flames. Don't you know that you yourself are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is sacred and you are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. Brothers and sisters, if any one of you thinks he is wise by the standards of this age, he should become a fool so that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in God's sight. As it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise are fertile. So then, no more boasting about men. All things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Kephas, or the world, or life, or death, or present, or the future, all are yours, and you are of Christ, the Christ is of God. Amen. 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 With this word, we believe, as we've been exhausted again, exhausted this very morning, we will continue to be co-builders as we dedicate this building to the glory of God. At this very moment, we will humbly call on our dear mother, Mrs. Phyllis uh, Mayani, to cut the tape as we proceed with the uh, building committee chairman ready with the keys to the building. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we cut this day. Amen. Amen. Let's give it unto the Lord. Let's give it unto the Lord. As we draw closer to the door, we will also, on behalf of the entire church, call on my dear wife Margaret as she unveil the plug to the building. Margaret Assembly. I, I unveil this flag in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Just a minute. Let me, let me just take it out. Amen. Okay. Let's give it unto the Lord. The Church of Pentecost, USA Incorporated, Princeton PIWC. To the glory of God, this church was dedicated by the Apostle Michael Adima Amoako, National Head, assisted by Apostle Augustus Marte Asemno, Regional Head, J.C., Apostle Dr. Mbanyani Mahango, District Minister, on Sunday, October 10th, 2000. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. At this moment, we'll call on the Thank you. Uh, Estate Committee Chairman, if he's here. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> if we have a keys to the building to let us have it. Now, on behalf of Apostle Mbayani, the district executive, and the entire presbytery of PIWC Princeton, 
I hand over to Apostle, the key of this building. Amen. Amen. Well, let's give a hand of applause to the Lord. On behalf of the chairman of the churches in the U, in the world, worldwide, Apostle Eric Cabra Nyameche, the national head for the churches in the USA, Apostle Michael Ajiman Amwako, the executive council, and also the general council of the Church of Pentecost, I thank the Almighty God for giving you and also the resident minister, Apostle Dr. Mayani, and the executive here, that grace and resources to enable us acquire this building. We pray and thank the Lord for your lives, for using the resources that the members have contributed judiciously. And in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I receive the key. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hearts, O gates. Lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the kings of glory shall come in. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. I open the door of this house in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be to this house and all who worship in it. Peace be to those that enter and go out of this house. Peace be to those that love this house in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Greetings. Oh, my. 
much loves this temple I have built. Yet give attention to your servant's prayer and his plea for mercy. Oh Lord my God, hear the cry and prayer that your servant is praying in your presence this day. And may your eyes be open towards this church building this house this very day and this place of which you said my name shall be there. So that you will hear the prayer your servant prays towards this place. Hear the supplications of your servants, O 